So my name is Bernard Kress. I'm the, the optical uh, architect, the partner optical architect at the HoloLens team. Some people think partner means uh, I'm a consultant to HoloLens. No, it's, a, it's actually a, um, an IC position, individual contributor position at, uh, at, at HoloLens. Um, uh, prior to this, I was uh, the principal optical architect at uh, Google Glass. So I joined them uh, end of 2010. So I spent five years at, uh, on Google Glass and uh, two years, um, more than two years now on, um, on HoloLens. So uh, again, this is, a, this is a, not really a class dedicated to optical engineers. This was the class that was given more um, uh, on, on Sunday. Uh, this is mostly uh, focused on uh, market expectations. Uh, investment patterns, and of course, hardware requirements. Um, so we're going to start with uh, market expectations, and investment patterns, application segments for AR, VR, which is very important, where and why are they applied, current product examples, and challenges lying ahead. It took 20 years to go from uh, the, brick f the brick cell phone to, to the smart cell phone, and these are some slides that many people also showed yesterday during the AR, VR event. And uh, this is very uh, informative, uh, especially when you look at this slide. It took 50 years to go from the sort of Damocles to, to HoloLens. Um, so why did, this, why, why did it take so long for AR to mature, whereas uh, the smart cell phone only took uh, 20 years, mainly because of the, the investment type. The investment for smartphones was mainly private. The investment for AR was mainly um, public defense. So things go slower in the defense uh, in the defense sector than in the in, in the private in the private sector, of course. So now, since 2015, actually the investment is private in the AR VR. Even before 2013, 2012, 2013 we started to migrate from uh, defense investments to uh, public investment. And the uh, pace of development is actually going to be much faster. So in 10 years, 2025, uh, I can only imagine what we will have and what, what, uh, what amazing technology we will have. Um, um, I, I can't even predict what we're going to have in five years. So don't ask me what we're going to have in 10 years. But uh, I will show you some slides that might give you some information about what we, we might see in uh, five to ten years. Uh, if you want to know what's going on in high tech, well, you look at the Gartner cycle. This is what everybody does. This is the 2014 Gartner cycle. Uh, augmented reality appears. Virtual reality already went for the trophy of disillusionment. Remember, this is uh, after Oculus was uh, acquired by uh, Facebook. Augmented reality, not many people were actually Talking about this, um, HoloLens was actually not disclosed yet. Uh, HoloLens was disclosed a year after, 2015, uh, publicly, and was, 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 uh, uh, was shown, uh, not available for purchase, but uh, um, was disclosed. Virtual reality is still here. Remember, on the Gartner cycle, there's a lot of technologies. Each of these technologies can actually drop out any time any time. So that doesn't mean that if you see a technology over here, that technology will go through the entire cycle. That technology can drop out any time. The good thing is that 2015, the two terms are still there. 2016, they go their way, uh, they go along their way. There's not a lot of technologies that actually make it, according to Gartner, up to the plateau of productivity in 2017. Uh, this is actually as of July 2017, so the, the, the graph as of uh, January 2018 should be out in the next uh, days, I think. Uh, you still see augmented reality and virtual reality. Uh, dark blue, so that's about, no, uh, sorry, uh, light blue, that's about two to five years for virtual reality. And dark blue, that's about five to ten years for augmented reality to reach the plateau of productivity, uh, where you actually see a product entering uh, the market. Uh, as a consumer product. Now, what is very important is that at CES, there was a lot of uh, 
panel talk about AR and VR, and uh, people agreed, analysts agreed, that uh, to, in 2017, that was the first time that actually industry saw AR as a viable commercial uh, industry. Not something that's hype and we don't really know what, what is going, but a stable, sound, commercial uh, um, uh, opportunity.